So uh, it's an honor being here, and who are you guys? Well, I'm John Engates. I'm the CTO at Rackspace. Um, yeah. I've been here for about eight years, and uh, uh, today we're at, in Austin, Texas. We're here at Austin City Limits, which is in sort of downtown Austin, yeah. and uh, we're announcing a whole bunch of new stuff today uh, with our cloud services. And who are you? I'm Dave Wright. I'm the CEO of Jungle Disk, uh, and I'm happy to be here today with Rackspace to make the big announcement. That, that sounds uh, interesting. So Jungle Disk and Rackspace, that probably tells us a little bit about what you're yeah. going to announce in an hour. Yeah, that is exactly what we're going to announce uh, in, in a very short time here. We're, we're, um, we're announcing a couple of acquisitions today. One of them is Jungle Disk, yep. and uh, we're very proud to, to, uh, to bring Jungle Disk into the Rackspace family. and. Uh, uh, make the cloud more accessible to uh, to small businesses and consumers and everybody really. Now, what do you what do your two companies do? Because so, some people watching this might not have any clue what Rackspace is or what Jungle Disk is, right? You want to start with them? Sure, sure. So we do uh, basically we we take the the cloud storage that's out there. We work with Amazon. We're going to be wor working with Rackspace, and we take that cloud storage and put it on your desktop. We give you an unlimited size network drive. You can use just like a local drive uh, to store all of your data, all your files in the cloud. Uh, we also have automatic backup built in so that if you uh, you know want to keep your data backed up securely in the cloud, um, you can do that as well. And that's for individual users as well as businesses? Or? Yeah, we've got a consumer version, we've got a desktop version, uh, we've got a desktop version for consumers, we've got a work group version for small businesses as well. And so that's really what we're going to be working with Rackspace uh, closely on is to help get that out to uh, even more small businesses across the country. And we'll talk a lot more about that. We, with our HD cameras, we take a lot of video. so. Uh, we need backup services because mm -hmm. if it's all at Rocky's house and his house burns down, we're in exactly. trouble. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so what do you guys do? Rackspace um, is a hosting company. We've been in uh, uh, the IT infrastructure and hosting business for about uh, 10 years. We, we take care of big websites, big web applications, IT infrastructure for companies all over the world. We manage uh, eight data centers on three continents. Yeah. And we manage about 40,000 servers. So you get sort of this sense of scale. And we've been out to see you before. We right. got a tour of your new headquarters and yeah. got an idea of what you guys yeah, do. Yeah, you came out a while back and, and got to see the, the, the full tour and, and understand what we're all about. Yeah, that was a very popular video, which gives you an idea of how many customers Rackspace has. So why are you guys getting together? Well, uh, my, my perspective on that is we're getting together because the cloud is something that we're really excited about. Uh, we have a lot of customers who want to take advantage of the cloud. Um, the guys at Jungle Disk have built a, a product that um, really makes the cloud accessible. It, it's a, it's a complementary uh, piece of software and, and tool for our users, our customers, uh, the, the whole ecosystem to really use to make full advantage of the cloud. Cloud is, you know, up to date, really not been something that's been accessible to small businesses or individuals. It's been, you know, for the computer scientists, for yeah. the geeks of the world, and, and it's not, uh, uh, it's not as simple as it should be, and I think Jungle Disk makes it simple. Yeah. And I think it's uh, very powerful as part of a suite of services that Rackspace can bring to customers to have a backup tool or a, a network drive capability, and it will be built on top of Rackspace's cloud. That's another thing that we're going to be talking about today at our uh, event is really the sort of the, the, the relaunch of a couple of our cloud offerings and some new cloud capabilities that we're bringing to market. So, yeah. uh, you know, we've been in the cloud business for quite a while with our Moso product that people are probably familiar with. Uh, that's getting a new name uh, today. We're bringing uh, our Cloud FS product um, sort of formally to market today with a, a new name as well. And then another acquisition that we're going to talk about in a few minutes is going to become a, a new cloud product as well. Awesome. Um, why now? I mean, Microsoft next week is going to announce something with Ray Ozzie's team, right? right. And it's, it, they've been showing off pieces of it, the Microsoft Mesh. How is, is this going to compete with that? Uh, well, you know, we, we really see uh, what we do as complementary to 
what Amazon is doing, what Microsoft is doing, and what Rackspace is, is doing, because we take um, a lot of the infrastructure that they're, they're building and make it work for uh, consumers and for businesses. And so we give you a way to tap into uh, these data centers and these servers and all this storage that's being put out there and use it uh, in a way that's really simple, really intuitive, and really easy. So we're actually excited to see everybody coming out with these new announcements, these new products, and we're looking to, you know, we're looking forward to really being able to allow everybody to make use of this uh, new technology. So if I'm a home user and I have uh, a digital shoebox of photos, sure. right, and some of my friends have 100,000 photos and mm -hmm. I you know, know. several gigabytes, <laughs> hundreds of gigabytes or yeah. even terabytes of photos yep. or videos, stuff like that, and I need to back that up somewhere. How do I do that? How much does it cost? Tell me a little bit about so, what the use case is. Yeah, so jung Jungle Disk is, uh, you know, for consumers or businesses, is very simple. There's a, a small piece of software you download. It's available for Mac, Windows, or Linux. So we've got all the platforms covered. Uh, you install it, set, up, set it up with your account information, um, and then you just store as much data as you need on there. You can set up automatic backup. You can say, you know, protect all my music, protect all my pictures. Uh, it'll back it all up into the cloud. Um, and the pricing is very simple. You only pay for what you use, and it's 15 cents per gigabyte per month with no minimum, no maximum. Okay, that's really cool. Um, and how does that compare to the, because there's a lot of store, online storage sure. and backup solutions now. In fact, my other sponsor, Seagate, has one. Yeah. You know, how does it compare to all this? There, there definitely are some other offers in the space. Um, you know, in terms of pricing, there's a couple of other uh, models that are out there. There's kind of the tiered model where you pay for 10 gigabytes, 20 gigabytes, 30 gigabytes. And, and what we find is when you, when you go with that model, you tend to uh, either very quickly exceed what you're using or you don't even use a fraction of what you're paying for and you don't really get the best value for it. Um, there are also folks out there that are offering what they call unlimited services, but they tend to come with a lot of limitations in terms of what you can back up, how quickly you can back it up, um, can't back up network drives, can't back up USB drives, all kinds of things like that. Um, we really think the jungle disk pricing model is, is simple, easy to understand, and it's fair for everybody. Yeah. Um, and so that's, that's one big difference. But really just the fact that we are cloud agnostic and we work with Amazon and we're going to be working with Rackspace and we allow you to choose where you want your data um, is very different than most of the other folks are out there where uh, if you store your data with them and, and you know, you're putting your faith in them that they're going to be around when you need to get that data. And so um, you know, we really think we have a big advantage working with uh, big successful companies like Rackspace. Yeah. Um, I upload a video to my private little share. Mm -hmm. What if I want to share it with my friends or the public? Do I have to move over to a different Rackspace service, or can I just do that right, right straight from your service? So right now, uh, Jungle Disk is primarily for private backup and uh, private sharing. So if you want to share that, uh, that data between multiple computers in your house or between your house and, and your office or something like that, it's very easy to do with Jungle Disk. Uh, we are planning on adding public sharing in the future, but we want to do it carefully. We don't want you to accidentally uh, expose more than you intend to. Yeah. So. Um, you know, we think that's a concern that a lot of people have with uploading their data to uh, some of these services. They make it so easy to share that you might do it on accident, and we don't want to have that happen. Yep, that's true. What does this mean for Rackspace, and wh why now? I, especially with this economic time, and well, why do an acquisition? Yeah, why now? I think you know, one of the things that we think uh, you know, that at Rackspace is the cloud is, is now. I think the cloud is really a, a something that people are very interested in, and, and there's a lot of activity going on, and so we wanted to make sure that uh, we had you know, several bets in the cloud, and, and our, our bets are starting to pay off. Moso Cloud is very successful. We've got you know, thousands of websites hosted. Um, we've got uh, our cloud FS, which is becoming Cloud Files. That's a very, uh, you know, very uh, good product. It's already out there in beta, and that's what uh, Jungle Disk will be porting over to our Cloud Files platform. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to Amazon S3, so there's a lot of you know a lot of buzz right now in, in the uh, uh, in the cloud space, and we're just trying to make it accessible. We're trying to take fanatical support and wrap it around the cloud and make people uh, really able to take advantage of the cloud, make it usable, make it accessible to small businesses, consumers, whoever really wants to take advantage of it. Um, the tough economic times certainly they are that. Rackspace has plenty of of uh, capital. We're we're well funded. We did our IPO not too long ago. I think you probably talked about that on, on your last video. So we, we got that done. Uh, we were probably one of the last IPOs to happen before this, this stuff happened uh, in the market. So we're very pleased that that got done. Uh, we got cash from that. We also had a, uh, a big you know, bank line of credit that we, that we took down. So we've got plenty of cash. Um, I, we also think that doing things like this, making these bets in, in this time, is the time to do it. You know, sort of. Uh, when other people are not able to, to uh, put, put the foot on the accelerator, and we are, that's going to really put distance between us. And, and I think that's, that's part so of our So you're of the belief spirit, that yeah. great companies 
accelerate through downturns. Well, right? we're, we're trying to like make Google sure. Google did last time. Yeah, right? I mean, I think that, that that's something to, to think about. I mean, if you're a strong company and you've got strong backing and you've got a, uh, a, you know, a great base of customers to build on, uh, you know, these products are very complementary. We can yeah. take the, the jungle disk and offer it to the rack space base or to the MOSO base. We can take the, the mail trust uh, mail offering and then add uh, another partnership that we're going to talk about, uh, the, um, the, e the email archiving in the cloud uh, that, we're, that we partner with a company called Sonian to accomplish. And okay. so these kind of things all fit together for businesses. They want uh, to make their life easier. They want to do it faster. They want to do more with less. And these are the kind of tools and, and uh, things that they need. If I have files up on uh, Jungle Disk right now, they're mm -hmm. up on Amazon servers, right? right. Are you going to continue to, to offer Amazon storage in addition to Rackspace storage? Or tell yeah, me uh, absolutely. In fact, one of the kind of uh, fundamentals of the Jungle Disk technology is that it was designed to support multiple clouds. Um, and that's certainly, I think, one of the reasons that Rackspace came and talked to us. And one of the very unique things about Jungle Disk as a technology is that we can support multiple clouds and we can give uh, users a choice of who they want to store their data with and um, you know, let the cloud providers compete on price and features and all of those types of things. Um, and for businesses, we can also offer replication between the clouds. So if oh, you don't want to have uh, you know, kind of all your chips in one pot, you can actually uh, replicate your data and have um, you know, probably better backup and better protection than has ever been possible in the history of IT with uh, with these clouds. Yeah, because if if I'm just storing on Rackspace, you're you're distributing on multiple data centers. We right? have multiple data centers. Yeah. We've got we've got. Now, is, cloud. Is, are my files have, actually going to multiple data centers? Or are they? It will it will be in, in depending on sort of the options that you choose. It okay. will be available in, in, to be replicated into multiple. Because that's we're really not, expensive. To we're do. not requiring it, but yeah. but it will be an option where, for customers to be able to spread their data around. So. So now I, I can not only just ha have it on several Rackspace servers in different places, I can also have it on Amazon? Exactly. That's so. pretty crazy. <laughs> We're really going to be safe, Rocky. Yeah. <laughs> the nuclear age won't even take us down. <laughs> but if, if, you, if you think about the importance of you know, digital data these days, everything is yeah. digital. The financial records are digital. Your pictures are digital. Your music is digital. Your videos are digital. And this is stuff that's completely irreplaceable. Nobody has hard copies of it. And you know the value of this data is really immeasurable. So. Um, you know, we think it's important to allow people to go as far as they want to in ensuring that it's protected. Yeah. Are you announcing any new APIs or things for developers around this announcement? Or are you thinking of new ways to integrate this to well, other? Well, uh, so Jungle Disk is a, is a consumer, is an end user product. It's not really a developer product. Uh, the the uh, Rackspace guys are uh, announcing the public availability, I believe, of cloud files. Yeah. Um, and so that's, that's certainly exciting. Um, Jungle Disk is continuing to, you know, to be developed. We're releasing new features all the time. A, a new beta is coming out at the end of this week, and so we're excited to get at that out there and, and keep moving forward. Tell me again the pricing. If I have a terabyte hard drive that's full, which is actually a little less than a terabyte, yep. but, uh, how much would it cost to up, up, upload all of that to Jungle Disk? So the, the pricing, um, like I said, is pr very simple. It's 15 cents per gigabyte per month. Uh, a okay. terabyte's a pretty fair amount of space. That would be about $150 a month. Okay. Um, but uh, you know, again, compared to the value of what you've got on that data, that's probably, uh, probably a pretty good deal. Very cool. Anything else we need to know? I don't know. I think that's. I mean, we're, and you're we're, doing a big announcement. Big so there's announcement. going to be a video so the, of that yeah. up there, up on uh, the Rackspace yes, site. There's a webcast to go along with this yeah. event, and, and we'll uh, link to that in the uh, description yeah. here. Lots of good stuff coming from Rackspace. That's what I want people to know: is that there's a lot of good uh, new capabilities that we're adding to what we've done in the past. We're not replacing. We're just augmenting our capabilities and bringing a lot of new stuff to market. Very cool. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And, uh, it's going to be fun to use your service. So thank you. Thank you.